Joining us now, a man from the BYU baseball team as the Cougars prepare for a game day against the rival, Utah. Hayden Rogers of that pitching staff. Hayden, welcome to Studio B. Thank you guys for having me. Appreciate it. So, Jerem, immediately when we started talking about us having you on the show today, he, you know what, you just make the, Rogers! Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Did that. That's <laughs> because, never happened to you because ever, Because of right? the commercials. <laughs> yeah. Ha, does that happen often for you? Um, Yeah, I, I remember actually my freshman year, I, I'd never even heard it. I, I just got back from my mission, so my freshman year, and against – UVU, they were doing it all the time. And I was like, what, what the heck is that? <laughs> and then, you know, some people were like, yeah, it's the, the commercials. And then they showed me the commercials. And, yeah, now now I, I get it yeah. quite a bit. Rogers! <laughs> yeah. And, and State Farm is my insurer, so I had to make sure that I got that out. Got to get that plug in there. <laughs> do you miss your mustache? I do. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, I was thinking about that on the way down. Um, <laughs> I miss the meaning of it. I, I miss the whole representation. I don't miss – uh, the fact that I had to explain it anywhere I went. <laughs> like, I walked into a room, and I was like, you know, it's for baseball guys. It's not, you know. I'm not weird. So, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, yeah, having to explain it to everyone was, you know. It means we're fun. winning, okay? Exactly. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. It, what's the vibe been like on this team? Because the mustache and the mojo and winning every series and whatnot, there's kind of been uh, another chapter with this team. How have you guys been able to explore this next uh, chapter of the season post-mustaches, if you will? Um, yeah, just our, our main thing is we just want to have fun. Uh, we kind of, you know, hit a little skid. Um, and then B. Anderson, Hayden Nielsen, they kind of all rallied us up. No, guys, you know, have fun. Baseball's supposed to be fun. The whole Bryce Harper thing, you know, make baseball fun again. Um, and so we're just having a ton of fun right now. And it's obviously when you win, it's, it's a lot more fun. Was that a, a conversation after a game, during a game, team-only meeting kind of deal? What, what it was there? actually right uh, – so when we, we lost the first game against uh, San Francisco, and so it was before, right before the second game. Hmm. And so it just, you know, got us, got us going. Because usually, you know, I, I don't think we've ever lost the first game of a series. Um, and so, you know, we wanted to come in and, and make sure we got that second win – or, sorry, the second game win. Uh, that was a must win, and, you know, we, we were able to get out and get it. And now, you, you might not know this, but that was the first time in five weeks in conference play that you won the second game. Wow. So that conversation yeah. <laughs> put you over the top. Yeah, it sure did. Yeah. BYU wins the series against San Francisco, and in doing so, you keep pace with Gonzaga, trailing the Zags by one game going into the final week. And I know that the West Coast Conference Championship – is on your mind because Mike Littlewood has told us, look, from day one, we want to be WCC champions. Um, is that more of a regular season thing when you started that goal or has now that now expanded to, well, let's just win either the regular season or the tournament? Um, I th our goal, you know, from the beginning of the season was just to win the tournament. Um, we, we really wanted to, to be able to get the automatic bid for the, for the regional. Um, I, I, I think we're actually talking about our goals yesterday. We had a team meeting. Um, but I think, you know, if, if we won the regular season championship, I think that would prove to the other teams, just the conference in general, that, you know, BYU, BYU is here to play. We're here to compete. I, I feel like we don't really get a lot of love uh, for baseball in the conference. So, you know, I think winning would really show the conference that we're, we're here to play. We're even at the school to some degree because the expectation is not necessarily to compete for the championship the past few yeah. years. Now that you guys are – um, you know, you've been really relevant in the spotlight. What's right. what's it been like this season for this team as you guys have made this nice run where you're 20 games over 500? It has been a lot of fun. Um, kind of going off of what you're saying, like people on, on campus, you know, especially with our mustaches, people on campus, they, they're like, yeah, baseball team, good job. And then the people in the SAB are like, hey, you know, mustaches, good job. So it's, it's been a lot of fun. I mean, being able to, you know, actually be known instead of – and having, having fans at our games, you know, it's been amazing. <laughs> It's nice to actually be known. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we're be, be relevant. here too. <laughs> yeah. It's been fun. <laughs> How much scoreboard watching will you and the team be doing this week? Because it all matters of oh, how sure. it all plays out. I, I, I'm sure we will all be watching um, on Sunday the, the Pepperdine game, um, Gonzaga, and especially St. Mary's. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to – at least I'm going to be keeping a close eye on it. <laughs> what, what's the um, expectation at the end of the season now? Because you want to win you want to win the tournament. Regular season would be nice. But uh, does seeding matter in the end all that much? Do you want to, you know, be the – would you prefer to be the one seed? Um, yeah. I mean, being either the one or two seed, that just allows us to be home uh, for the first game or so. And so I, I guess it doesn't necessarily matter because it's it's St. Mary's, Gonzaga, Pepperdine, and and to be honest, it doesn't matter who we open up with. They're all great, great teams. Uh, their opening day starters are, are really good. So, I mean, 
yeah, I, I don't think it's going to matter whether we're number one or number two, you know, so on. So just got to play hard. Your ERA, 3.5, 5 and 3 in 20 appearances, 11 starts. How would you individually evaluate your performance this year as a BYU pitcher? Um, I felt like I've had my, my shining moments. I've also felt like I've had some, some really bad ones. Sure, Coach Littlewood could uh, could attest to that. <laughs> Figure it out, hey. Figure it out, <laughs> Rogers. Honestly, but uh, yeah, I mean, I felt like uh, especially with Buffalo going down, um, you know, I there, there was a time where I needed to step up, you know, come out of the pen and and I uh, um, there there was a time with uh, with Rucker, you know, I, I came in after him and we, we shared a great great little hug after that <laughs> oh, after one of those. <laughs> I think it was uh, San Diego. I think it was San Diego. So yeah. that, I think that was one of my finer moments. That was. Helping him get out of the jam. And we don't replay hugs very often. <laughs> <laughs> that, that oh, happened. that was so funny. Uh, yes, I will never forget that. Maybe that was the moment of the season. What What was your favorite moment or what has been your favorite moment of this entire BYU baseball season? Oh, favorite moment. on I think uh, this last weekend, Eric Yuri had a home run that was just – incredible it was awesome i mean they had a san francisco one of the better fields i've played at but they had like a i don't know how high the fence was like 80 feet or something high and and he hit this ball and off the bat you know i'm thinking that 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 could go over and then i think it has no way it's going over and all of a sudden it, it clears the fence the 80 foot fence and it, yeah it was it was awesome yeah that, that was probably the coolest thing ever <laughs> that's awesome let's get you some byu sports nation karma for the rest of your season and for byu baseball and uh, because this is your first trip to Studio B, we want you to sign our stretch white flag. Sweet. Thank you very much.